Hi guys, so I'm very late in the bandwagon for this, but I wanted to upload this at some point, but this is the only chance I get to see it. So, and this is my 2014 favourite, and it's always going to be mixed, it's not going to be like a one gender, it's going to be different bits and bobs. So I'm going to do like the more branding slash maybe stuff like that a category. So, I'll start with my favourite YouTubers. My first one I have to be Sabella. I've been watching her for a very, very long time since she started, and I never got bored of her. She's actually the most amazing YouTuber I've ever met. She's kind, she's caring, she's funny, she's pretty, she's just perfection. And I really love her and please check her out. And I'll link all the YouTubers down in the description box so you can check them out and listen to the side do. Any comments on thing that they sent me because that would make them really nice. My second has to be Blonde Sun Sun Doll 4MJ, which her real name is Trisha Paytas. Her username is B L N D and Sun Doll and 4MJ. That's how she used her username, so I don't know why, but that's what she chose, um, but she's really fun and genuine and generous and caring and just giving a lot of hate, which I see no point of because she's just perfect the way she is, so there's no need of hating her. So, sorry if that's the way I feel. I don't know how you feel, but don't bring out in other people's like, feelings because they make them sad and stuff, so I just don't do that. My third is Quill has to be Gigi Gorgia. She is just so sassy and I really love her. She's just so perfect and yeah, subscribe. My fourth is going to be Lissy and Lydia. They're two twin sisters and <sighs> she's just amazing. I can tell them about because Lissy has a short hair and Lydia has the long hair and they're just very funny and yeah, I just love them. My fifth is going to be Velvet Ghost and that's Gabby or I really think Gabriella but people call her Gabby and she's just perfect as well. Go check her out. My six is in the fro and I really recently started watching her but I'm never going back because she's amazing. Yeah, my eight, seven swimming has been my friend Eve Laverty and she reached 800 subscribers and I'm really happy to so please subscribe to Eve more to reach her up to a thousand because she completely deserves it and she's a really nice friend. My eight will have to be Alexa Pilotti. She is a Kawaii sort of pastel goth person and she's just really sweet and really fun and her clothes and her style is just amazing. So she, she likes all that Japanese stuff and I really love that. My ninth hmm, who else do I really like? Oh, Miss Rosie Bay. It's M S Rosie and B E A, I think. But she is just really nice and she just she's a little bit quiet but that's okay. My tenth is Hannah Reeves and I appreciate her watching her as well and I'm never going back to see her. So my top 10 YouTubers. And I'm going to move on to my villains. My top 5. First will have to be Default and their stars. Amazing. Second, The Hunger Games. Not a particular one. It's all of them because they're really good. Third, I watched last night and it's called Devil G. I love that. Fifth will have to be The Conjuring, which is a horror. Maybe, but it's really good. It's all about like, this creepy doll and stuff, and then it's all like, amazing. And my fifth, hmm, what my fifth be? I don't know. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Fun Direction, where we are, tour. Amazing. Okay, my top song, the first would have to be Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. Second, we photograph by Ed Sheeran. Third, be Aris by Goody Dolls. Fifth, fourth, I mean. Would be Hold You and Ian Nesbitt, and my fifth would have to be On My Own by Lamez. My top fifth, so first one had to be Girl Online, obviously. Second, The Hunger Games. Third, hmm, would be Jackie Daydream by Jacqueline Wilson. My fourth hmm, would have to be Summer Dream. And um, my fifth was by Marshmallow Sky. My top five TV shows would have to be. Oh, I just remembered. I've never played a YouTuber, and her name is Pink Sparkles, and I love her as well. Okay, now we've got to the subject. I was on my TV shows. My first one would have to be Austin Nally. Yes, I'm 13 year old watching Disney programs, but they're the best. My second would have to be Jessie. 
my third would have to be the only way is Essex. My fourth would have been Hollywood. My fifth would be Ascenders. Now I'm moving on to my favourite moments of my life. Um, my favourite moments of my life was getting free the Blackpool. That was the biggest achievement I have. And uh, going to Blackpool and got three awards, which is really pleasing. I was really pleased with came fifth in Northern Ireland. And I was really happy. And that was the biggest moment of my life. No, I am going to beauty products. Um, a lot of these are bath products, but I just love them so much. Um, but there's some downstairs which I'm so stupid. I've got to pick them up and put them on my desk where I have all of them. But you know, oh well. So I'll start off with I'll start off with the body products. Get them over and done with. And I have a travel side version of this because I'm so obsessed. And it is the um, what's it called? Sprites with butter. It's just like this. And this is Soup and Glory, and I don't know how much these are, but I'll link um, the Soup Glory where you can get these products and stuff for cheap or something. And this is the normal creamy white texture. Just amazing. The scent is very clean scented. What I really like about this, and it's really moisturizing on the skin. And it's my skin feeling very smooth and fresh and smells really nice and I definitely would recommend this. Okay, right, I have an obsession with this. I need help because I'm obsessive with it and I never put it down and I never get smelling it. And this is Sugar Crushes with my Glory Body Scrub. <sighs> this has to even break. Like, will it come out of the use already? Oh, it's just so it's nice and fruity and sugary and if you don't like that scent then you find another one basically. Okay, this is just amazing and it's a super good scrub of your life um scrub but I like to use the cleanser because it's really refreshing on my skin to on my makeup off. It may not look like you're taking your makeup off when she's bump it. It's just amazing and uh, I just love it and I definitely recommend it. I had a travel size travel size version and I didn't know if I was gonna like it because I never tried anything like this before but when I got this for Christmas I was just really really good and it is so comfortable for getting it. Okay this has to be my go and it's the Wella Beauty Creamy Mousy Dream Body Lotion and I love this and the Wella is amazing and she beats me with 7 million subscribers like how can you do that? Like that'll take me forever because I have 3 subscribers. Well, I'm still thankful anyway, so thank you to subscribe. But it's really good and really moisturizing and it goes into your skin really well. And I really, really like it. Okay, guys, this is amazing. And it's super good with clean shower butter. And this the CD ingredients. Velvety cocoa and shea butter, grapeseed, sweet almond, and macaroon nut oil, pistachio, almond, and sweet vanilla scent. What more can you want in a freaking shower gel? Oh, it has smells, guys. It smells like you're baking cookies or something that smells like really sugary sweet scent. And this is amazing. I definitely recommend this. Okay. A few more. And it's a butter stuff by Super Glory. I really love this. It's really moisturizing. Um, it's a really nice, biggy scent, but it's not too strong. And that's what I really like about this. And. Oh well. And next there are other swell up products and it just I'm just awkward I have to like squish this well. But it's just like over like the swella and this is for but that here and I can't bother wrapping it up, but they're both so perfect and I really love them products. Okay, we're going to my makeup. I've been loving the Borgia Paris um bronzing powder. I recently got this and I can see what the hype is about this. It's just amazing and it's like super cute packaging. It's like a real chocolate bar and that's what I loved. Whenever I saw it, that's the first thing about it and that's what I really like. But the pigmentation and oh it's amazing. It does sometimes get chalky um fallout, but that's when I use too much and that's how I know I use too much. But I got it on today and it leaves a very nice glow and that's what I really like about it. Excuse me. It's not too kicky and it's not too orangey and I really like it and the it also has highlighter mixed with the bronze or combined, so if you want to try that out, I'm not really that to wear my link from below. It's everything here. 
And this is my all time favourite and it's the number 7 Sea Perfect Foundation. And I'm in the lighter shade at the moment. Um, this is 122 Um, I think it's a print, I'm not quite sure. But it's a really great foundation and in America you get this cheaper so you're kind of lucky. This is $13 in America but it's £14.50 over here so you're kind of getting £1 discount against it so go to ulta.com and purchase it because trust me you won't regret buying it because if I love it you're gonna love it. That's just how it is. And my last two favourites of the year if I can find three favourites actually. I can't find it. I have another lipstick that I really love but I can't find it. If I find it I will um, leave a link in the description box below anyway, but it's the Makeup Gallery Deep Red Lipstick which I absolutely love. I don't have it on today but I have this one on today which is called Hippo Pop and it's a really nice pinky colour. It's kind of more purple but I need some more light. Why not? And I really love that. And it's on point, so go crazy. And that's another good one going product, but it's on my lip gloss. And it's called. Don't drop it. Anyway, it's called Sexy Mother Pucker. Pucker, like the other one. In Charm Offensive. And really nice neutral colour, so you can go to school around this, but don't apply it too much. That's the colour, and the presentation is really great. And I really recommend that. Anyway, that was my 2014 favourites. Again, late, but who cares? But um, again, leave me questions on my Q and A post. I post up on Instagram. Like always, I will leave my link to my Instagram down in the description box, so you can have a little look. Um, my picture for the Q and A is me and a wax figure of David Beckham when I play Command Tweezers and Blackpool. And um, if it's asking me anything for my q and and it's asking me anything, and I'll answer some of them, all of them, because they make a really long video. So, yeah, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and the q and will be up in a few weeks' time, because I need enough questions to answer. So, leave in the comments what video I should do tomorrow, or whenever day I decide to film, because I'm kind of busy for school and stuff. But leave them down in the comments, and I will try and do my best. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!